Hello guys, Salman Naseem here. In today's tutorial, we'll see how to model yourself or anyone with the help of Character Creator 3 and Headshot plugin. To get the software and the plugin, go to Real Illusion site and here is the plugin link. It's an AI based plugin which is which help us to generate the 3D head. For the reference, I'm using this portrait by this guy. So let's back to Character Creator. Once we start the Character Creator, we'll have layout something like that. After installing, after installing a headshot, sometimes headshot come in the bottom, so just drag it over here. So here is the headshot plugin. We have two options for that. One is auto and one is pro. The basic difference between pro and auto is uh, texture and masking. Uh, in auto we have 1k textures and pro we have 4k textures and in pro we, uh, we allow us to create the custom mask for our character. So if you are trying it first time, uh, go for auto and later uh, once you have little control on uh, on the tool, start working on pro also. So I'll select pro from here and drag the picture. So the character creator is, uh, so character creator is asking us uh, for male or a female, we'll select male over here. There are a few other options like no mask or a old or something like that. In most of cases, clean rough is working uh, really fine i'll go with the beard one and select generate so it will the character creator will take some time to generate from or to generate the head from our picture uh, so ai will scan our our input and try to create the character over there so after the generation we'll have our character something like that we can zoom in so you can check it's really amazing check it so the character creator tries its best to generate uh, the beard and all other uh, all other stuff our character still need little improvement so we'll go uh, we'll select the character and uh, go for go for content and there are a number of clothes uh, there are a number of clothes uh, clothes options we we can purchase more also uh, we'll, first of all i'll go for shirt and uh, select this shirt and drag it over here so it is that much easy in character creator to just drag something and that will apply automatically on 3d world we can still modify our character for example we select here this we will select our hand and go for this tab there are a number of options to uh, customize uh, to, to customize it for example we can customize the length of uh, our arm our character arm or anything else there are a number of options for that also. So let's get back to work. We'll go for paint over here from here and select this paint. Jeans A all oh, that will that will good for him. So we'll go here and uh, we'll have the paint. We'll go for shoes and drag this shoes over here. So our character is uh, our character looks something like that the currently only missing thing is uh, the hairs we'll go for hair section from the base uh, we'll have hairs over here and we'll select uh, this here for the improvement purpose we'll, I will add eyes also we can still modify our shirt or anything else by going there there are some awesome textures over here. Uh, just upload the base color over here and the character creator will do rest job really fine. So that way our character is almost ready. To, so it's time to export it in a blender. We can take this character to iClone by clicking here. Very soon I'll create a separate tutorial on that. We'll go for export file and export and export, F, export the FBX. We'll select uh, here blender which is free open source 3d tools we'll click on export so it will take only little time to export it so in blender we'll uh, delete everything and go for fbx uh, import and fbx we'll go for same directory and export our, uh, our character import our character so we have this character now we can go we can go by clicking z key over here and uh, check in a render view 
uh, you can see the character under viewer is not working really fine we can still fix it we can fix this kind of stuff in uh, character creator but uh, i'll i'll go for delete uh, it's okay to have a character without undergarments so just select it and delete so for the better uh, for the better view we'll go for cycles over here and i'll light up our environment so you can see we'll have our character something like that interestingly it's come with the rig of our character just like the rig from here and we'll go here or uh, we'll go here and viewport display check in front you can see it's fully rigged but the rig is uh, most of time is not working fine uh, you can use maximo for the better rig it is much better to use the maximo for that because that is that rig is already baked one the most interesting thing is our character come with the with the shape keys i'll uncheck this and we'll go for we'll select our character by going there by going to object mode and we'll select our we'll select the base of our character in a shape key section we'll go there there is a shape key for wide i wide if we go for that you can see the difference in i uh, it's better to have it's better to go in a solid mode so you will understand much better from here you can see and there is a sh same shape key for mouth smile like that and everything else like uh, it's a uh, it's an interesting character creator uh, and that is the best alternate for fuse also which is uh, discontinued by adobe we still have three more character create three more free character creator within blender i'll tag that tutorial over here if you are looking someone to hire to model yourself in a 3d just go to the fiverr the link is in description for that also and if you uh, and if you want my services feel free to contact me at salmanasim.com uh, don't forget to subscribe being animator youtube channel see you in the next video